Hey everyone, Doc Savage here. Thanks so much for joining. I'm gonna show you how I do composite restorations using my entire Kerr Armamentarium. They're a great one-stop shop for your like rotary instruments, your polishing. I love this curing light that they have. I'm gonna list everything at the end. Um, as we go, I'm gonna list the things I actually use in this video, but I'm gonna line up everything that you see in this video just so you can easily order these things. Definitely hit up your um, Kerr rep, let them know that you saw this video. They're gonna be familiar with this, so they're gonna know everything I list here. Some of the specialty things I have there, I'm gonna point out as well, but um, it's a really, really complete line from Kerr and Kerr Rotary. Uh, from materials for to polishing to burrs. You can see like some of these flame burrs are pretty specialized for getting in between, different sizes for different things. And you know, as dentists, we know we're always gonna use something else, but these uh, diagloss polishing points and the PDQ points, they're my kind of workhorses for getting that nice glaze and shine. So I'm gonna isolate, I use that Optrigate there. You can use whatever you want. And we're gonna be working on number 30 there. Uh, M O. So Simplicut is this new line that they kind of came out with, and I think it's amazing. It's it, it's kind of deemed one of those like one use type diamonds, you know, comp competition like Neodent or, or something like that. But um, you know, go ahead and etch. Um, you don't have to etch because I'll show you the adhesive. But I'm just a creature of habit, old school. So uh, the Kerr etch is great. I love the viscosity. You can see it really well, and it it just moves well in my hands. Plus, it comes in these great little syringes. So. Definitely no reason not to use that there. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and use any sort of desensitizer, especially if we were on Dentin, uh, antimicrobial. I use Microprime, you could use Gluma, things like that, but um, definitely do whatever works well for you. But uh, the, you know, the main attraction here is the Optibon Universal 360. This is an amazing new adhesive. It's self-etching, so like I said, you don't have to total etch. And um, it does everything. You can use this on your um, restorations as well. Uh, so here's my uh, flow that I like to use. It's called Herculite Ultra Flow. Uh, I'll use an A1 to line the box typically. It's got a great viscosity, it moves well. It also blocks out color pretty well. As, uh, so it's very, very useful for these things. And then I'll get in there with the Sonic Fill. Uh, I use the B1 here, I really like how it looks. Um, I'll just kind of do large bulk fill. And then just for the grand finale, I like to go over it with the Harmonize because I feel that Harmonize just works really well in my hands. It shapes amazing. I can condense it super well. It gets an amazing gloss and the color is fantastic. Um, if you wanted to go Sonic Fill for the whole thing, you can. Um, so again, just kind of do whatever works well for you. I'm using an acorn condenser there because I like how it pre-shapes uh, my, you know, my occlusal anatomy. And then you'll see later too that there's a matching burr that, that's called a raptor. And then I'll get in there with my explorer and shape that marginal ridge. Um, you know, do whatever is comfortable for you. Uh, just know that all these materials are fantastic. This Demi Cure Light is amazing. It has a really deep penetration. It could go really fast. And then you couldn't really see it in the video there, but it does this pulsation of the light to kind of keep the, cold, uh, the temperature down. And uh, as you can see, we get this beautiful look. So now, once I'm in this kind of gen general look, I'm gonna come in here, I'll take that ring off. And then there's that raptor burr I was talking about. This is my workhorse for shaping the occlusals, any sort of anatomy. And then I'll take it right back over the marginal ridge and approximately between the two teeth because it just, it matches that acorn condenser. And look at that, I mean, just like one, one over and it's already looking just like a regular tooth. And then I'll get in there with that um, flame burr. I'm using a fine flame just to get in between and trim that box, get it all nice and clean and flush. Then we'll get to our polishing. Um, I have a couple different things that I use. Again, use whatever you're feeling comfortable with, but I recommend um, going in there with the cup and the point and getting in there and I'll list to you what we've got. So we've got the uh, Pro Gloss point there. It's called, is by Axis and um, Again, a Kerr product, but that's what they call it. It's really good. It's kind of like this in-between. It's kind of, you know, when you go over with like your brownie or something like that. And then get those cups because the cups are really good at getting interproximal. Then once you've gone through that, get in there with that Occlu brush point. It really gets that high shine and it really just makes everything lovely. So if you guys have any questions, let me know, but definitely get in contact with your local Kerr rep and they will get you hooked up with everything that you see here. Take care, guys.